Uh, hi there, uh, clarinet, uh, shalomo and recorder fans. Um, I'm just bringing you um, a follow-up uh, video on my new shalomo. Uh, slightly different to other shalomos. Um, it has three keys. Um, it's got a register key on the back. What makes the ch what makes the fingering really interesting is the bottom bottom octave is actually the same as a descant recorder. Well, not quite. Um, the F is actually just fingered like this, which is a little bit sharp on a normal descant recorder. But uh, the natural scale. And I'll just show you by comparison what a descant recorder looks like um, compared to my uh, shallow and there's not a lot of there's not a lot of difference um, but yeah so it makes it interesting because it's still like a clarinet overblows at the 12th but um, Instead of blowing overblowing low F to C, it actually overblows low C to G. So, and also because you've got this interesting stuff around here, um, what becomes uh, a no G sharp key? G, you really miss those G sharp keys, and um, uh, you do have a break. Um, so. Um, and you do have um, throat tones, but they're about a fifth higher than normal throat tones, uh, given that you're starting on a C. So. <laughs> Um, C to D, which you would get on a normal um, C shallow is um, is all the fingerings. Uh, there are no half holes, so you there's no double double brock double holes, so you do have to half hole. Um, but I would tend to choose pieces that are either. Um, in C or have one flat um, because uh, um, or you'd uh, yeah so a lot of um, folk music uh, that sort of thing though um, F sharp you can get away with get a fairly um, convincing F sharp out of it and a fairly convincing G sharp out of it. The B flat sounds lovely um, um, and also the good thing about it being a clarinet mouthpiece is you can um, sort of uh, fiddle with your embouchure so Um, almost sort of up to uh, a semitone lower. So um, what I'm learning about with these throat tones is that uh, so C and D and also what I notice is that this um, thumb rest is probably about two centimeters lower than I want it to be. Um, and so uh, I might so about about two and a half three centimeters lower than I'd want it to be um, when you consider the the way the way I want to play the instrument but anyway so you get C so that would be your C sharp and the normal D So that you could go you can get a 
quite reasonable um, D major scale out of it and um, then the, the, the uh, higher F, um, F sharp is just the B because and another thing I notice um, on this Shalomo um, is that there's a lot of resistance um, there's a lot there's a huge difference between playing in the lower octave then um, or perhaps it's just around the throat tones that there's a great deal of resistance yeah there's a great deal of resistance um, in the throat tones which you don't have and there's also um, uh, um, and I'm really going to have to tune those upper notes have to do actually is take the back thumb off the thumb hole in order to because you see there's actually it actually gets quite um, flat so if you were to not alter it and notice how flat that gets whereas yeah so it's quite interesting sort of a D goes to an E is um, sort of the B-flat fingering. And I've also got to be careful to keep my finger off the lower hole, um, which I would normally leave resting on there because it's just a key on a regular clarinet. And I've been so used to keeping my fingers close to the keys, but of course there's no keys. Uh, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so in coming days I'll find um, little pieces um, I can play. There's motets and, and all sorts of things to play if I can um, get my hands on them. So, uh, yeah, and uh, so this is just a very basic Shalomo. Um, this is this is a little bit of um, bark. So it actually works really, really well in the flat keys. It's interesting that um, an E flat is a D with the register key.
convinced about that. quite a nice sound take a little bit of the work there to get the yeah so um well that's um a little bit more from me on um my Shalomo, uh, bringing you more updates uh, in the future. So thanks for listening live for now.